because of all that's been going on with the finals, yeah. this place has been popping. It's been really busy uh, with all the basketball that's been going on. But, of course, that means a lot of events had to be moved. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, they've had a little bit of scheduling going on in that building. And that includes the Native American Basketball Invitational. Obviously, they couldn't play here because the Suns are playing the Bucks, so they had to move it. But they played anyway. Jennifer Martinez has that story. She joins us now. Well, not only did they actually play their games, they played it off a site. They actually were able to go to game five after all. It's really cool. Not many kids get to do this. There are different champions at the arena tonight. 2001 Navi Championship Boys Division. Yeah. And it's more than basketball. Everybody, we, we are a large basketball tournament, but it's just the hook to get our kids into one area. We unite them. This year, the Navi tournament was supposed to be at the Footprint Center, but there were a few changes. The games were held off-site. Shippy's Rolling Plains Construction Company, who supports native land and tribes, picking up a hefty bill. They weren't going to be able to play the final here at the Suns Arena and this came up. She sent an email out and right away Robert Shippey, our owner, was like, we'll handle it. We'll handle all the tickets. And they did handle it, including flight changes, hotel stays, and the hottest tickets in town. Game five, Suns and Bucks. It's going to be a good time. It's a great opportunity. It's like you never get to experience this ever in your life. The team's grateful for the opportunity that many could only dream of. These guys put in the hard work, got us here, and now we get to get the rewards from it. So it's, it's, it's something cool. So even though the Suns lost tonight, they did tell me that they were Suns fans tonight. They had a great time, and many of the players, they are from out of town. They will be heading back home this week. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.